Do you remember a few months ago when we were at Disney Springs and we were experiencing the NBA experience for the very first time? It had recently opened. We went, we played some of the games, we shot some hoops, it was a lot of fun. But now things are changing. Several of us early on predicted that this probably wouldn't be something that was permanent there forever and ever and ever. And now it's official, the NBA experience at Disney Springs will not be reopening. Now why did we see this coming? I think that many of us in the Disney community know that this is just not the thing that a lot of us are interested in when we go on vacation. We want to go to the parks, we want to experience those rides. Yes, we want to go to Disney Springs and shopping, but this is not the thing that we're interested in. For many of us, it's just different. We saw interest in the NBA experience wane extremely fast. Just a few weeks after it opened, there were a lot of availability, people were outside trying to encourage everyone to come in, it just really wasn't that popular. So it's easy to see why Disney is going to not reopen it and replace it, hypothetically, with something else. That brings us to the topic of the day. What is going to replace the NBA experience at Disney Springs? It is a super good question that I really want to know the answer to. If we consider Disney Springs and the financial policy that Disney has now put in place where they really want to kind of change the dynamic of how Disney is experienced through some of these policy changes, I think it's easy to say that whatever comes around will be something profitable in Disney's eyes. The first thought that comes to my mind when I think about what's coming to Disney Springs and what's going to replace the NBA experience is of course, Disney Quest. Is that going to happen? Well, probably not, but maybe something similar. Disney Quest was the five level interactive indoor theme park that incorporated video games and real life experiences like flying the magic carpets with Aladdin or going on a pirate adventure. It was just so much fun and I know I am not alone when I say that I miss it. I think that I'm not alone when I say that if Disney had just taken the opportunity to update Disney Quest to just more modern games, it would continue to be profitable today. Guests would continue to go and enjoy it, spend the whole day there and just, you know, spend the, whatever it is, $100, to go and experience this amazing place. It didn't happen that way. Disney decided to go a different direction, and now maybe things will change back. There's not enough space for a new Disney Quest right where the NBA experience is currently located, and it's actually located between two other buildings, so there's no way they could just add a new five-story building right there. It would not look right at all. It doesn't mean that they won't maybe someday in the future, but the NBA experience, I think, will be replaced by something else. Two easy Easy guesses are a restaurant or a shopping area. One of those two would be easy to replace the NBA experience with, but considering the size of that one area, I think that it might be something else, or at least I'm hoping it's something else. My thoughts go back to the Void VR experience. You may recall we've done the Void VR several times at Disney Springs before it officially closed. It was actually on the other side of Disney Springs when it did close, but maybe something similar will replace what the NBA experience is now. Now. I talked about it years ago, but imagine an experience where you're inside, you put this helmet on, and you're basically going through a maze, but using kind of void technology where it looks like you're experiencing something different than what you really are. I love the void so much. I went several times when it was open just because I enjoyed it that much. And being able to bring that technology to Disney Springs and show guests would not only make Disney money, it would, but I think guests would truly enjoy it. What would make it even more fun is if it was a multi-level experience. Imagine, again, let's just take Stormtroopers for a minute. You take that VR experience from the void. You're a Stormtrooper. You've got your blaster. You go into an elevator. You've got to go upstairs. you got to you know, attack the First Order, whatever it is, or the Resistance. I guess if you're a stormtrooper, but something like that, something so interactive, so magical that we can barely imagine it right now. Disney could do it. They have the technology, they have the ability. It just takes that go ahead in order to make something like that possible. I almost promise that if that was the case, if Disney brought something like that to Disney Springs, the line for it would go out the door and stay extremely long for a very long period of time. And they could charge a lot. They like to charge a lot nowadays. It's part of their new financial policy. If they were to make an experience at that level, I think that they would meet their objectives, charging more and being able to make more money, but also create that amazing guest experience. As much as I would like to see that, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna happen. Maybe we'll see a different kind of interactive experience. Maybe it'll be, you know, some other version like Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, but for an 
interactive indoor experience in that small, smaller building, I'm thinking of Disney Quest, versus the NBA experience that's much smaller, but maybe something like that, some other way to interact with things around you, showcasing new technology, whatever it is, something else at Disney Springs. Do I think it's possible? Yes. Do I think it's likely? No. I think it's more likely we're going to see shopping or dining. I think that if Disney was to rebuild an indoor interactive experience, it would have to be in a building that takes up the current spot of the Cirque de Sol large tent. I'm not, I'm not thinking that's going anywhere anytime soon, especially because Drawn to Life, that brand new show that we got a preview of, has indeed been announced for reopening. So it's likely not going to be an indoor, in, indoor interactive theme park for a long time. Another thought I have about the NBA experience are those super large screens above the experience. Those were installed and in showcasing some basketball games throughout the day. Will those be taken down or will Disney keep those up and maybe open like a sports bar in its place? Multi-level sports bar kind of would go with the theme. They wouldn't have to replace the entire exterior because that took millions to build. And I'm guessing that Disney does not want to just tear it all down and restart from the beginning. So I think whatever we see there is probably going to incorporate a lot of what they've done on the outside to that building. They're probably gonna have to gut it, change it entirely inside, but at least I think the outside will likely continue at least in a general frame sense. Those are a few of my thoughts about what is going to replace the NBA experience at Disney Springs. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think it's gonna be? Restaurant, shop, those are very likely, or maybe an inter indoor interactive experience. Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.